welcome to For the Clarity and Closure of the Viewer's Comments. I'm just going to say a few brief things before we begin. Number one, when you choose to comment on my YouTube channel, there are terms and conditions, there are rules that you must follow. It's my house. I expect you to follow the rules. If you don't, your comment probably will not be published. Also, I ask that you be honorable and graceful, i.e. respectful of everyone here. Please don't go around telling people what they should or shouldn't do. And if you come here making claims, making claims about this or that or the third or something that's happened to you or whatever, having to do with grammar or courts or whatever, you better be able to certify your correct sentence structure knowledge because this is a correct sentence structure channel and I am going to call you to the carpet on it if you start making claims about something that you perhaps don't know what you're talking about. It's very important for the safety of the vessel. If you have closure on correct sentence structure, you should be able to provide that proof like that on the spot. So keep that in mind. The energy you bring here, I will return. I will balance it out with rule one, rule equal. So without further ado, let's get to the comments. First comment comes from DBK4149, and they say, about to embark on this journey. Much content to work through here, but eager to learn. Thank you, Colin Jason I from Matthew Colin Glass. You're welcome. First question. It's your name supposed to be all small letters, though, to indicate a free man. Well, DBK4149, that depends on what you mean by that, what it means to you. So the first question that comes into my head is, where did you ever hear that? It's like people saying that uh, all caps supposedly refers to a dead person because tombstones ha are all capped. Well, you know what? I found exceptions to that rule. I found tombstones where it's upper and lower case. I mean, there are exceptions to just about every rule. So my kuleana to that is it's the value of a thing is what you ascribe to it, what you put into it. If that's what it means for you to be a free man, if that's all it takes is to put your name in all lowercase, if if you're using upper and lower case and you're a slave and all it takes is to be free is to write your name in all lowercase, sign me up, bro. I'm on board. If that's all it takes for every man and woman in the world to be free, let's all start writing in lowercase. But I'm being a little cheeky here. There are specific functions for the casing of letters in correct sentence structure communication, parsing syntax, grammar. And I do go through that in multiple videos on this channel, which you said uh, you're working through the material. So eventually you will run into that and you will get my closure on why I do things, the way I do things, the way I case letters, so on and so forth. But ultimately, it's up to you, the value that you put into it. If you feel that there's some sort of value in using all lowercase and for you, that means that you're free, by all means, have at it. Use all lowercase. Um, Everybody's different. By the way, they're commenting on the very first video that I published on YouTube, I think. I think that's my very first video on there. So thanks for the comment. Next comment comes from For the Dharma. And they say, Greetings, Jason. Would like to share a thought about who can bring life into this plane. By my logic, it is not the woman, but the man. He's referring to what I said in the video right there. You see clarity of the closure, the viewers' comments 50, where I said that only a mother can bring life into this domain. He's saying it's not the woman, but the man, which prompted me to say, show me a man that can carry and birth a baby. And he goes on to say the woman is the recipient, but the grile or the egg essential, the woman is the recipient, the grile or the egg essential for life to grow. The man is who brings the life to the plane, creates the sperm. Is that really true though for the Dharma? Do you create your own sperm? Just like you go into the kitchen and you create a meal, is that what you do with your sperm? 
Or is it something that just happens that's completely out of your control? You don't really know how it happens. It's not a conscious thing. It's just something that happens. Or is it more like that? So by my perception and logic, man does not create life. Nor does a woman create life. The words that I used were that only a mother can bring life into this domain. I didn't say create life. I said bring. Bring forth life. There's a difference. And again, for the umpteenth time, I urge you, the viewer, to please pay careful attention to the words that come out of my mouth because I'm using them for a specific reason, for a specific meaning. And try as hard as you can not to read any presumptions or assumptions into what I say or project your own belief systems into the simplicity of thought that I'm attempting to articulate. It seems basic, but I never heard it that way. Sorry, that is not quantum grammar related. Hope you enjoy it, though. Thank you again. Colon Eric, colon Fuertes. Well, thank you very much for the comment, Eric. And again, please listen very carefully to what I said. I said a mother brings life into the domain. I didn't say create life. And I would ask you to, I guess, provide a continuance of the evidence or proof that you, if you are a man, that you create sperm. You show me how you create it, how that's a conscious choice on your part to create sperm. Or perhaps you can stop creating it. As a man, you can say, I'm not going to create sperm anymore, and then you don't have any more sperm. Is it like that, or is it something that's beyond your ken? If it, is it something beyond your cognition, something at work there that you can't explain? Not the same way that you can create, uh, you can create a note on this piece of paper using a, a pen and an ink, and you write a note. You have created a note. Can you do the same thing with sperm? I don't think so. Another comment from DBK4149, and they say different styles of names were used in ancient Roman civil law as a means of distinguishing between free men, bond servants, and slaves. Well, are we living in ancient Rome, or is this a different location? And now space juncture. Mary Jane Doe indicates an unincorporated free woman. Says who? Mary Jane Doe indicates an incorporated bond servant. So unincorporated, take that word. Un means no. In means no. Corporated is past tense. So no, no, corporated in the past tense. Incorporated means no corporated in the past tense. So both of those have nothing to do with correct sentence structure and are in the past anyways. Because this is now space. has nothing to do with no contract words or past tense words. But if you think that all caps indicates a slave, then that, that's a completely, I mean, that's the value that you put on it, not the value that I put on it. And certainly not the value put on it uh, by anyone else that I know. Because slavery is not nice. This still applies today. Prove it. It doesn't apply to me, I know that. Agencies and courts are mischaracterizing you as a corporation. Well, I could give two shits what a fiction court characterizes me as. I have nothing to do with that. What I have to do with what, what I authorize and what I create, not what they create. They can have their own little world and do what they want to over there, but it just doesn't affect me. Thanks to the wonderful technology known as correct sentence structure communication parse syntax grammar. A corporate citizen person. The purpose of the documents is to correct your status as a living soul, man, woman, people, sovereign, separate you from your legal fiction paper. Person, you are not a people, not a person. You are a people, not a person. You are a national, not a citizen. Again, with correct sentence structure, DBK, you don't make claims for other people, so you have no position to tell me what I am or what I'm not. Now, you can do that for yourself, you can be a judge of yourself, but you certainly have no position to make that claim about anyone else. You don't have that authority. If you have the authority to tell me who and what I am, please show it to me. Please provide a continuance of the evidence of that, which I bet the house you can't. 
we should all be writing our names in small letters as it means no loss of status. And again, telling people what they should or shouldn't do is very presumptuous and actually very condescending if you really think about it. You can write your name however you want to, however it makes you feel, if that's what floats your boat. But you have no position to tell anyone else what to do, my friend. Please keep that in mind because if that is a hurdle that you cannot surmount, then you will have, you face many, many difficult challenges in learning quantum grammar if that's the way your mind navigates. Download and read the document called Law of the Land versus Law of the Sea, which explains what words we should be using on the land. While it's interesting to read all of those things, uh, DBK, I've been at this for quite a while. I don't know how many videos you have on your YouTube channel or how many successful document contract Postal Vessel Corp venues you've participated with, but I have enough under my belt and I have over 800, video, 800 videos with correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar as their basis on this channel. So I'm pretty confident that I know what I'm talking about when it comes to this grammar and navigating using the grammar. So if, from this comment, if you're here to push some sort of fiction agenda having to do with law of the land and law of the sea, then you can take that somewhere else because it has nothing to do with here right now in the now space with the grammar that has to do with fiction concepts which you're more than welcome to participate with i'm not here to tell anyone what they should or shouldn't do but i will ask you kindly at this point to honor the terms and conditions of this vessel which has to do with correct sentence structure and nothing to do with what you're pushing here which appears to be a fiction agenda next comment comes from ar1111 and they say the number of pinche taranitos, chiquititos, seems to be growing by the day. That is correct, my friend. That is correct. And that is a reference to a book called The Fire from Within by Carlos Castaneda, where the teacher, the shaman, Don Juan Matus, goes into great detail explaining what a petty tyrant is. You may want to look that up. It's pretty cool reading. Next comment comes from Gabo Perez 8011 and they say, how to access the information you provide in Spanish. With the balance of the honor and the grace, I think they're trying to ask a question, which the correct way to ask that question in plain English would be, how may we access the information you present translated into Spanish? Question mark. And the answer to that is, you can learn correct sentence structure using plain English and then you yourself do the translation or you can find someone who already knows it in Spanish and they can help you and, and I've said this multiple times just please turn on the Spanish subtitles on the videos perhaps and that that may help you next comment comes from Lawrence colon Lawrence hyphen Ray space colon Fontenant which is not correct, uh, Lawrence Ray. The second colon in your name would be tied up against the Y in Ray, and then there would be a space between that colon and Fontenant, and then there would be a full stop after the T, tied up against the T, and I'm not sure why you have the little extra colon there in front of the bracket. Oh. You have ply, and you have a you put the R E in brackets, but you leave the L Y suffix, the particle of negation. That's interesting. For this claim is with the point hyphen with space this video. So to me, you have ply hyphen space. That would be a pronoun. And then you have for, which would be a pronoun. This would be an adverb. Claim is an adjective. Is is an adjective. With is a pronoun. The is an adverb. Point hyphen with is a verb. This is an adverb. And video is a dangling participle verb. And then... In brackets, they say, I like Chief Gould. I have to agree with you. Uh, if he is the master, why don't he come forth? 
Is it fear? Does he not care? Why don't he teach this technology? Is this technology top secret? Is this technology top secret? That is not in brackets, so that is a pronoun. Is is a pronoun. This is an adverb. Technology is an adjective. Top is an adjective. And secret is a pronoun. Again, for the umpteenth time. This technology is not top secret, Lawrence. It's right here on this channel. Almost 900 videos. Nothing secret about it. Available for free to the public. And you are a member of this channel, so I'm very surprised that you're asking such a question. There's nothing top secret about it. Some people may want you to think that, but it's definitely not, quite obviously. If you do a, a Google search of my name, my channel comes up. If you do a Google, Google search of correct sentence structure, my name comes up. So it is not top secret. If Gould is the master, why don't he come forth? Well, that's a rhetorical question in my mind. Think about it. If he's not the master, master of what? <laughs> Master in his own mind, I suppose. Is it fear? That's a presumption assumption. I don't know if anyone else is afraid or not afraid, nor do I really care if he cares or he doesn't care. And you say you like Chief Gould, so I don't know if you've ever met him or not. I've never met the guy. I've communicated him uh, with him back and forth. I have no reason to dislike him, but I don't know if I like him or don't like him, because I don't know him. I don't feel in a position to say one way or the other. I do know that he doesn't use correct grammar. I can certify that as a fact. And I've done it multiple times on this YouTube channel. Next comment comes from For the Dharma, and they say, may you read this question. Thank you for your attention. May you read this question. Thank you for your attention. Yes, I may, and I just did. And you're welcome. I don't think I published this, but this is just really interesting. I get, I sometimes get individuals like this. In all caps, they say, Child of God, grace, light my beloved, peace, grace, light my faithful. Hashtag please, hashtag peace, hashtag beloved, hear your pain and grieve. And then crying face. And then Jason Matthew is a blessing, gift of grace, light, love. And they all cap my name. What are they trying to tell me? My name is Radika. Oh, but they didn't all cap their name. They used up. They used upper and lowercase. Oh wait, no, they did uh, uppercase their last part of their name. Interesting. And then they do a series of question marks, and then why the hate? Treat. Treat percent. Stop. <laughs> Like, does someone seriously think that I'm going to understand what the hell they're saying when they do this? Like, is this how they communicate out in the real world? And B is beloved, bliss, beware, for, know, you're warned, darling, lunatic, come, lunatic, will conquer and destroy. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Um, not making fun of this individual. Uh, just making light of their curious method of trying to communicate what it, whatever it is they're trying to communicate, which I have no idea what that is. If you'd like to learn correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, contact me at the email address listed at the bottom of your screen. I will set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation between you and me. You can ask me whatever you like. And I'll do the same, and we'll see if this is something that you're prepared to commit to. If you'd like to support the channel, click on the Join button underneath this video. There are two tiers of membership. Uh, the second tier has access to exclusive content not available to the public. Uh, hit the Subscribe button. Hit the Like button. Turn the notification bell to all so that you don't miss any of my premieres because I do post on a very consistent basis. Thank you again, and I'll see you in the next one.